Hi everyone, Dutrifer here, and welcome to this tank update. Today I want to give you a short update on the two things I mentioned last week, which is uh, the leather coral, which wasn't opening properly, and the uh, Montipora eating uh, nudie branch. So, um, as for the leather coral, it still looks pretty bad, but Nevertheless, I've moved it, so it was, uh, first it was right here, where the Goniopora is right now, and then uh, I moved it around a bit to give it a little bit more light and a little bit more flow. That has turned out pretty well so far. Um, the polyps are not extending at the moment, but they have been for the past two, three days, so I think it kind of appreciates the new spot. Might have to put it even higher in the tank, but for now I'll just keep it like this and see if it uh, recovers to its former glory. So far it looks uh, pretty good, except for now, end of day, so it's already retracted. Um, an update on the Monty Pora eating uh, nudie branch. I saw your comments and I um, it's quite hard to use a kind of coral dip to get rid of them. Um, let's see if I can give you a better view. Maybe like this. And I'll zoom in a bit if that works. Yeah, so you can see them hoarding around the edges of the Montipora. So where the tissue has died, you can see small white uh, snails that are actually the infamous Montipora eating nudie branch. Here's a good view. So I took the advice some of you gave me and still um, decided I should add two uh, res to the tank. Um, they're Halichures type res, so they are known to uh, be very uh, active slug eaters. Um, so I have added them today and as of now they are probably uh, buried already in the sand after such a stressful thing of course moving from the store to my tank so they're uh, they're in here a yellow one a yellow uh, whereas and the other one I'm not sure what the type is but I'll show it to you next time when it's uh, no longer scared and beneath the sand. So I took uh, countermeasures to both issues and I hope that uh, works out well. So regarding uh, the new tank, I, um, I started looking for a new tank for uh, when we're going to move houses in, uh, in June or July. And um, tomorrow I'm going to uh, go somewhere and take a look at a nice uh, big tank that I've uh, found. Um, it's a see-through tank, so uh, the uh, overflow is uh, not at the back, as you can see right here, but um, right here over the entire depth of the tank, and that makes the tank see-through on all edges except of course for this one. So it will be placed uh, 90 degrees um, different from, from what it is right now and it will be extending into the room, the new room of course, and that will give it a very nice uh, uh, overview. So the tank that I'm going to take a look at uh, is uh, two meters long and 90 centimeters wide and 70 centimeters high so that's quite a big upgrade when I calculate that it gets to around 1200 liters so that's uh, uh, two and a half times as big as this tank of course still adding the sump so it's going to add a little more so I'm very uh, stoked for that one I hope that it's uh, good quality I hope that the glass isn't damaged and I hope that uh, I'll be able to uh, to lift it, of course, with a couple of guys helping, since uh, it's quite a big tank. 
So, um, well, I'll uh, tell you next week how that went and if it's uh, looking good or not. But those are the plans for now. So other than that, the tank is um, running quite stable. Not much issues over the past week. Everything is going okay. So the new sense sifting Gobi is doing its job very well. It's, um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show to you. Oh yeah, it's right here. Still a bit shy, but a lot less shy than last week, so. The very active one, scouring the tank, especially during the evening and the mornings, and it's most active. And then during the day, it's mostly out here by Telair. So very glad it's uh, adapting to the tank life so well. Other than that, not uh, not much to tell. So the corals are looking fine. The fish are doing okay, and of course I can't wait to uh, get moving so I can give my larger fish a little more swimming space, since some of them really require some more space by now. So for now it's okay, but it would be good for them to uh, get into a bigger tank, especially this one, the spotted drum, and of course the... Uh, the copper band which I just showed you, these two are the main fish and they uh, need quite some space. And of course the hippo tang, can't forget that one. So I hope that the uh, newly added rest will uh, Keep, uh, we'll, we'll clear the tank of any pests, maybe even some flatworms if they're there, I'm not sure, uh, but especially the Monty Pora eating uh, slugs. I'm glad if, uh, to get, finally get rid of them, since uh, yeah, they pretty much destroy the, uh, all the Monty Pora in the tank quite rapidly. So uh, I hope the, uh, the fish are doing their job properly. So let's see. So. Let's keep it short for this week, not much more to tell you, so no need to, uh, to keep going. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.